Hey everybody, Super Josh 171 back with another video. This is against a guy named Cat. And, well, I think he's probably the first guy I've ever met whose name is Cat. But, that's alright to each their own, right? So, he starts off with, well, his Gandhi. A typical legendary. Freaking legendaries. And, I start off with my hammerhead. He throws out the reflect wall, and then we both... Um, get up our rocks. I get lucky and hit him with a crit, so it does the normal amount of damage after his reflect. Throw out another waterfall after he sets up his secondary shield, basically. And then get the quick kill with my jet. So now he's got a lot of defense on his Javier. And I'm going to try to pick up the crit. Obviously it didn't work the first time. He gets his boost. Dragon dances one more time, so now his attack and his speed are going to be twice the normal power. Hope again for another crit, but obviously nothing there. And hits me with an easy kill on a waterfall, but because I do... Oh, actually, it wasn't an easy kill. I thought I was going to have to focus sash that, but hit him with the quick aqua jet knowing that he's faster than me and I'm not going to be able to hit him. So, goodbye Hammerhead. Reflect is gone, so his defenses are at their normal. Coming with 2%, just knowing that he's going to be able to take some good, solid defensive hits. And just hit him with the Toxic. I just need to wear him down. Now poison starts to drop him. I know that I can take at least one more hit, but with the next dragon dance, he's going to be able to take me out, so, or probably take me out, was his thought, so it takes a little bit more poison damage, hits me with the waterfall, and, well, it's going to do quite well, still, I don't think was quite what he was expecting. And that poison damage is really starting to wear him down. So he waterfalls again. And I flinched. So I didn't get the milk drink. I didn't get my next turn of survival in. But I know now that easily after this turn the toxic is going to take him out. It would just be nice to still have my 2% in. Just for heal bell reasons. So, Toxic gets a kill there. And come in with my little Honda. I've obviously been changing things up a little bit here. I'm just going to fake him out knowing I can get the free damage in. And we both get our leftovers recovery. I'm going to knock off his leftovers just to, well, make life a whole lot easier for me. Because I figured he was a calm minder, and well, I don't want to deal with that, so I blew him away. Now he's at least leftovers less. Uh, Force Palm, his Gigantor. And I'm sorry about this video, it moved a little bit on me, so it's a little smaller than, or a little bigger than it should be on the screen, but whatever. So he roars me out, come in with my <laughs> Gold Lakes, which works out beautifully for me used metal sound which only works if he's slower than me so hit him with the EQ know that he's not gonna be able to do jack to me so I'm gonna go and curse myself just to get a little extra defense and attack and get the single boost in an earthquake because I know he's got a couple special attackers he's gonna come back in with so I don't want to spend too long setting up because like Apple here is an easy one hit against my Steelix and I was pretty pissed off I was just kinda stupid I didn't bring my rapid spinner into this battle and because my phase my scyther is new to me I didn't even think about it so he gets an easy kill there I should have used U-turn and brought in the fire pedal figuring that the surf was coming but I didn't think about it until right after I did everything. 
So, energy ball. Not going to do much against his bird man. And I know I'm not going to be able to take any hits from him, so come in with gold legs, who's going to wall him like a champ. This brave bird is going to maybe put a half of a dent in one of those big spikes on gold Lux's is back. Endeavor is going to work beautifully, though. But after the gyro ball, he's long gone, so I'm not too worried about it. Comes in with his bird. I'm hoping that I can survive a fire punch. I had just used rest, and I figured that he was a physical attacker, so I was just had my fingers crossed I'd survive it, but without even a single boost, I obviously didn't. So get the fake out for the free damage on my Honda. He throws out a sub. I was hoping that he was going to throw out a sub because, well, I had attacked. So take out the substitute. He throws out another one and gets a speed boost against my slow team. So probably pretty unnecessary, but hey, it worked. Hits me with a reversal, which does all right. Well, half damage is definitely all right, no matter who we are. So worked out for him. Excuse me. And comes back in with the apple, who... Well, I'm not going to be able to do anything against. I think he thought that I was going to throw out my um, my fire pedal at that point. But obviously didn't work because I left him in, hoping that with some forest palms I could get, a, get him paralyzed. So he gets a boost. Forest palm him again, keeping my fingers crossed, and there it goes. And now it's all just prediction. I'm trying to find the best time to switch. And right there, he did use Thunder Wave again, trying to paralyze my fire pedal, but not sending him in. Worked out nicely for me yet again. And now he's just going to start boosting. Well, after the Parahax, he's going to start boosting. So, I think I leave my Honda in a little bit too long, but it doesn't really do a whole lot for him anyways to have left him in. So, coming with the fire pedal, he does have, I believe, two or three boosts to his special attack and special defense. I know that Surf isn't going to really even dent me. So, I throw out the seed just to steal the HP that I'm going to need in the long run here and just drain the HP that I don't want him to have in the long run so get the seed throughout the energy ball for some reason he hasn't T waved me and I don't remember if he even does he might have tried to but got the parahacks there so get the recovery energy ball it's obviously not going to kill him and then he's going to just slack everything off as long as he's not paralyzed. So it gets to be pretty much the same old thing here. Pretty much who else can, or who can just outlast. Which, with my stab energy ball, it's hopefully going to be me, but we'll have to see. So, um, slacks off again. Get the leech seed. Energy ball. Just about just over a third, just under a half. Maybe two fifths of his health. Get a little bit more from the seed. Energy ball, and this is going to be the end here. I believe this is where he gets another pair of hacks. So it was a fun fight. It was a long fight. But speeding it up works beautifully. So thanks for the fight, Cat. It was really good. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, excited to be getting more videos up here. My next one is going to be my NU team. I just built and never used. So that's going to be very, very exciting for everyone. And I'll see you all then.